Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Palmer. It is day two of the Under-26 Nations Festival, the first of its kind in the women's game. And we kick things off with Ireland versus Italy. Here are the teams and a few changes for Ireland. Nine to the starting 15, all in all. Some have been brought into the squad, some promoted from the bench after the 33 points to 10 defeat against England. As for Italy, largely the same. Aragash Peloton is the only change in the back line. She was on the bench for that opening victory against Scotland. The game of the day on match day one. Managed to score a try. And as a result, she has been promoted to the starting 15. Interestingly, Vittoria Sonetti and Antonella Maioni, they've swapped props. Sonetti was at tight head and Maioni was at loose head in the opening game. Italy. 17-13 against Scotland. A phenomenal contest to close out day one. What's day two got in store? Sara Manini gets us underway. Ireland receiving the kickoff. Italy up for the boot. Manini. Neve Gallagher runs it back. Bit of space now for Neve Gallagher striding up the touchline. Looking for an option, steps around instead. Neve Gallagher, oh, loses. Approaching 10 minutes. Things starting to open up already. That's a good pass. Chikati is quick. Not as quick as the clever defence, though. Fate of Yahweh. To the front this time, and to the mall this time. Amanda McQuaid. Breaks away early, puts a bit of footwork on, and then finds the floor. Kirapati. Oh, great carry. Makes two, three metres. An island within touching distance. Oh, it's a good tackle. Really good. Well, they're on the ball there. Italy, not rewarded though. And Ireland, as close as they've been, as close as anyone's been. Biggest test of the Italian defence so far. Of Yahweh, so close. This time, yes, silent score. Great patience. And Ireland take the lead. Ireland 5, Italy 0. And the first time they've been able to put concerted pressure on Italy. Go through. Conversion is straight and true. But into the 22 they go. Manini trying to drift round the outside again. It's Faith of Yahweh making a great tackle on an outside back. Tony Lotto. She's been met. And the turnover enacted. Sophie Barrett. And then Italy get one straight back. Well, that's tough on Barrett, isn't it? But Mastrangelo has gone quickly. The offload good. Italy deep into the 22. Looking to turn the screw. Get their first points here against Ireland. That was Jelic in a scrum half. Italy over. And it's the second try in two games for Vittoria Zanetti. Poaching from close range. Powering over. And Italy right back in the contest. And Vittoria Zanetti. Real eye for the trial, and that's a good carry, isn't it? Solid by Eric Yello. Then Jelic in at scrum half, short ball, good line by Zanetti. So difficult to stop her from there. Flags are up, it's 7 7. Game on here in Parma. Itonchi finds Kelly. 
Good first step tackle. Nini out wide. Is there space on the edge here for Italy? There is. Try for Martina Busana. They can't stop the grounding. Great turn of pace despite the attention of Neve Gallagher and Ellen O'Sullivan Sexton. Another chance then for Italy. And Desiree Spinelli takes her place in the armchair. Bitonchi waits as to the rest of the back line. But it's the forward pack who are doing the damage at the moment. Up the short side they go through Spinelli. Stop two metres short. Bitonchi barks the instructions. Tonelotto held up well. Sophie Barrett, big effort from her. Of Yahweh flies off the line again to make another great tackle. But Bitonchi with quick ball. Space out to the left now for Italy. Over the top it goes. It's try number three. And Martina Busana goes in for her second. Edge to edge for Italy. And Martina Busana of Villorba pops up on the right, pops up on the left. Lovely pass by Pirpilou. Look at the number of island players she takes in. One, two, three. And then just puts it into space. Busana times the run. Bitonchi puts it in. Options both ways. They break away and Zeni throws the dummy. Zeni! Again, Ireland scramble. Space perhaps on the right hand side for Tony Lotto, but they go left and Cittadini crashes forward. Again, strong defense by Ireland. But this must be exhausting. 15 minutes to go. 7 17. Jelic still out there. Tony Lotti. Tackle by Robin O'Connor, a good one. Someone needs to fill in that gap on the short side. Oh, how has she not scored Spinelli? But this time they do. Ireland asking for the knock on. The referee not interested in Italy. Impressive in the second half. They're asking for the knock on. They're not going to get it. There was no knock on there. Watch. Over she goes. Busana. Another conversion from out wide. Oh, what a nudge. Fabulous kick from Martina Busana. Another three great games for you to look forward to. Another two great games for you to look forward to today. Kelly Burke. Shortened numbers in the line out for Ireland. They secure that ball at the front. And the Maulers look good. This Maul looks really good. Ireland over for the second try. Is there hope? Kelly Burke scores. Ireland up to 12. They still need two. And they've got seven minutes to get him. Faith of Yahweh. She hasn't given up, has she? No, the cover comes across, but the chase is good. And Grassi. Ushered into touch. Great chase by Claire Barrett. It's been a strong finish from Ireland. Full of character. Italy certainly deserving of their lead. They dominated the first 25 minutes of this second half. But if something happens now and happens quickly, then maybe we could be in for one of those grandstand finishes we hear so much about. Away goes Kelly Burke. Burke's over. Two tries for Burke. Is there time to restart? It's 17 24. Here's the conversion. It's across the face. Oh, no time to restart. And Italy go two for two. Both of them. Decided by a score in the end. Well, it was a game that took a little while to get going in the first half. Italy looked sumptuous at times in the second, but Ireland, a huge show of character.